Hi, it's Mike with TopDaddies.com, and today we're with uh, Sean from the BC Lions. Thanks for meeting with me, Sean. Uh, thanks for having me on. So, uh, Sean, you're with the BC Lions, and for those that don't know uh, who you are, uh, what do you do with the BC Lions? I play football. I play receiver with the BC Lions, uh, catch, catch footballs, score touchdowns, have a lot of fun. Awesome. And you're, of course, a dad. Yep, and, dad of two. And so you got two kids. How old are they? Uh, one's turning one in uh, January, and the other one's about to turn three. Wow. Okay. So you're uh, you're busy and probably a little sleepless. A lot sleepless. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So tell me, uh, with football, um, what did you learn uh, through football and, and working in team sports that uh, helped you prepare for being a dad? Uh, it's surprising. Uh, you actually learn a lot. With football, you you get pushed to your limits. You get pushed past your limits. You have teammates you gotta gotta play for. So there's times when you don't want to do something, but you know there's someone relying on you. And it's almost the same with being a father. You uh, get past your push past your limits, push past your comfort zone, right? Being up all night, doing things you're 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 not used to, never thought you'd be doing. It's uh, a lot of fun. They really uh, get everything out of you. So that's probably a good tip for dads. Is uh, you know if you want to prepare to be a dad, get into extreme athletics. Then. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so there's sometimes a little bit of a stereotype with football players, and I, I wonder about the stereotype about being a dad, uh, sorry, about being a football player and how that translates to being a dad. Well, you know what, possibly, and I can see that in the college level especially, you know, where um, they don't, most, most uh, college students aren't fathers, so they don't have that responsibility, so they're really thinking about football and, you know, what they're going to do out at, uh, you know, at the night on campus. But in the professional level, we have a lot of fathers, right? There's a lot of us that are, have families, and our families are really involved in our career. They're really there after games, you know, they're in the stands, we bring them out on the field, we have a blast with them. and. In football, football is very unique, right? We have an off season, mm. right? Not a lot of professions have that. So we get a lot of time to spend with our kids. So are, you were telling me earlier that there's actually a lot of fathers on the BC Lions team. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a ton. There's a lot of fathers, fathers of multiple kids, and uh, we're a tight-knit group. We all know the, the troubles that each other uh, go through. There's no troubles being dads. <laughs> so, uh, do, you, do you guys do things together as a team? Uh, any special kind of kid, kid, kids' activities that you do as a group? Oh, definitely. We always bring the, the families together uh, for different things: barbecues, uh, birthdays, baby showers. Um, they always enjoy coming together, playing with each other. They know each other from uh, different football games, practices, any event. All right, so uh, it's always great to have everybody together and have fun. So they're quite involved, and um, and it sounds like you've got a BC Lions family. Yeah, definitely. That's what it is, and um, it's it's great to be a part of. So some people know you for football, but uh, what about Sean Gore, the dad? Uh, tell, give us a little insight to what Sean Gore, the dad, is like. Okay, Sean Gore, the dad. Um, I'm pretty uh, energetic, right? Uh, enthusiastic about being a father. So we're always playing. We're, we're playing basketball, football. Got a little net that we're throwing, <laughs> taking shots into, having a lot of fun, and um, yeah, taking them outdoors. I, um, a lot of people don't know this, but in football, football is a different profession than a lot of others where we get an off season. So I get a lot of time to spend with them. I'm pretty much uh, with them all off season uh, around the clock. Oh wow, so you're pretty much a stay at home dad. Yeah, that's what you can call me. I'm a stay at home dad. My wife uh, works a lot in the off season. So when I'm not training, I'm with them uh, enjoying my time. And so what was that transition like for you going from you know the, the pre-kids lifestyle to being a stay at home dad? Um, it's tough, but you know what? I think it's the same uh, that women go through, right? From not having a child to having a child and being with them all day, not being at work, right? So with me, it's the same, right? I'm, go I'm working, all of a sudden, uh, I'm, I'm in the house, I'm not with uh, my buddies all the time, right? So I gotta, I gotta you know what I mean, teach them. I always gotta be on them about, because they're, they're always push the limits, right? About, <laughs> Kids don't push the limits. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Mine do, right? So I always gotta be on them, and so there's a, the strict side to it, and there's also the loving side where you gotta play with them, just get them involved in different things. We will play Lego for hours, mm. right? Um, and just uh, spending time with them. Perfect. So if you were to define what it means to be a top dad, what, what would you say that would be? A top dad? Top dad is just being there, being involved with them. Um, I think in this day and age, it's so easy to have the TV on, right? Have an eye, give them an iPad, be with them, you know, be beside them, <laughs> right? But to actually be involved with them and uh, have them, their, their minds opened up. Right, they're they're so new to the world. Show them things, right? Show them how to do certain things. Show them what the, the cool stuff that's out there, because they they really enjoy it. My kids are always enthusiastic about anything new. 
There you go. Well, Sean, thank you so much for your time. It was really great to see what you were like as a dad. Uh, for more information, or sorry, more interviews like this, please check out topdaddies.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, like the video as well. Thanks again uh, for your time, Sean. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks.